What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. We got Raj with us. We got Billy in the back and something really cool in Jamaica is you can actually eat these sea grapes. I've, I didn't even know they turned purple, but in Florida, these are protected. These sea grape trees that run along our coastline. So cheers to my first sea grape. Get a darker one, they're sweeter. They're sweet. Oh, this is the same color. Yeah, darker ones are sweeter. Greener ones are bitter. It's interesting, like, I don't, I can't really like explain the flavor. Definitely grapey. Yeah, look at them. How cool is this? So we just got to our Airbnb and Zaina, I think her name is, the owner is an absolute pleasure. She's just a wonderful, wonderful woman. And she actually has a big net. And she said, if you guys want to go fishing, let me know she has a net. So we might set out the net tonight and pick it up in the morning and see what we can catch. Hey, look at you, Raj. Listen, she said we have to pick some for her too. Oh yeah? Yeah. yeah How cool is this? We have an Airbnb dog too. His name is Hercules. This is so cool. Oh. That one was tart. Check this out. These right here. I learned this last year with, well, two years ago with Raj. These are almonds, right? Yeah. Are these ones good or are they overripe? Yeah, these are good. Ooh. You want me to get one right? Yeah, open it up. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so much. Okay, got it. That one got a, a little crush. All right. Here, give me those. <laughs> Here. Oh my gosh. A wild almond. Here. It's good. It's actually, it's just a really, it's an, a very light, mild, nutty flavor. This tastes like my, like my child. Mm, so good. Yo, Hercules, you can't poop on the public beach. You guys, this is absolutely beautiful. So right now is the start to a vlog video. We're gonna hopefully set out the gill net, see if we can't catch some little fish, go to a waterfall tomorrow. We gotta finish up Raj's video here, cooking some pepper shrimp, which is going to be absolutely delicious. Be sure to check out my last two Jamaican videos as well. We got some huge mud crabs and some big old prawns too in that beautiful crystal clear water, so. Right now we're going to get settled into our Airbnb and y'all are just going to watch what happens next. I got me a little caramel crunch popcorn snack, but it's just a little appetizer because Raj over here, check out what we caught last night for his channel. Like, look at this. You know the ladies outside? The ladies who own this Airbnb said those are small ones. That's what they said? Yeah, that's what they said. <laughs> uh, you must be joking. Um, but anyways, Raj is about to prepare an amazing, authentic Jamaican dish with these crawfish. So while he's doing that, check out his channel because that's going to be for him. But while we're eating, I'm going to take you back to Spanish Bridge, which is this gorgeous bridge, crystal clear water, where you go on a rope swing and you jump off. <gasps> awesome. Woo! Martin. Ready now, Billy? 
Come on, Billy, let's go. Ah, not you. You what? first. I did this last, I did this two years ago. You'll yeah, be all right. Oh, I know it'll be fine. <sighs> all right, Raj, there, looks there, like you're there's nominated. There's a reason why Raj isn't going, and I want to see why. Go. No, I'm going to go. He's going to go. There's not a special reason. Ah! <laughs> oh. That was so perfect. You guys, we are here at Spanish Bridge in Jamaica and it's famous for swinging off this bridge and jumping in this icy cold water. Billy already went, but unfortunately I was not recording. They're unprofessional. Yeah. Hey, you didn't tell me you were going. I was down there setting up the camera and you just went. So now you gotta go again for the camera. But it's, it's been no, about two years me. since I've done this. <laughs> I usually do it once or twice, not more than twice. For some reason, if I gotta jump off things, I'm like, I'll do it. But it's like a one or two thing, so. We got some professionals over here. He just did an amazing flip. Oh, there we go. I think 50, brother. Yeah. We got Raj down there with Enzo, his pup. I don't know what he's doing though. You ready? Enzo was like, where are you going? Roy, Enzo. you want to say hey to your fans? Hey, all is good? Yes. Bless it. <laughs> so Roy was with us two years ago on the river cooking some pepper shrimp and we were camping in those tents. Um, so it's really nice to see Roy again after all these two years. You ready, Billy? All right, let's go. Ready? Come on, Florida boy. Woo! Ah! Oh my gosh. Good job. Put your body weight on the rope and go. Ready? No, no, no. Hold on. I can't count. Don't count. Don't count. Don't count. Don't count. Don't count. Ready? Ready? Three. One, go! Yo, Hold on. Hold on. Let go! Let go! That's all you said. Yeah. That is That's a perfect one. Oh my God. Tell it. You did good, man. Hey. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. Yeah, so good. Have a catch him, you know? Hey, watch your face. Hey, hey. Yeah, just, hey. Yeah. Come here, Rasta. Move your hand. Move. Wow. Ah. Uh, Shabba, no. I said, I don't know if you come with <laughs> No, I'm not going to do that. Ready? Yep, yeah, we're ready. Let's go. Woo. Yeah. All right. Walk me around. Watch it. Watch it. It's a good thing you got some ear not to push. Watch it, watch it. 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 Watch Oh boy. Whoa. That's like <laughs> that too smooth. All right, let's see what you got. What is this, worm style? Hook worm. Hook no, worm. I'm you can't leave fire, sir. That's a higher. That's a higher. Come over, right back, go and touch your gun. All right, ready? All right, we're ready. You can set it like you do it and come Pump here up. and turn up on it. Go on. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeesh. Hook worm. Ah. Boom. 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 Boom.
as you guys can see, it's the following morning. We got some scrambled eggs. We're kind of working with what we got here. We got some leftovers from our previous meals since we've been here. Today is our last full day here in Jamaica. Tomorrow we fly back home to Florida. So we got some scrambled eggs and some good old little Aunt Jemima pancakes. I saw this in the store and I'm like, you know what? I could go for a little pancake. We ain't got no syrup though, but that's all right. That's Roy's favorite. Roy? Oh yeah, that's right. So Roy, um, I don't know if you guys remember him from last year, but he camps with us on the river. I didn't make a video on the river this time, Raj did, and Roy is just an absolutely amazing human being. Roy, if you're watching this, you the man. But he was telling us how he absolutely loves pancakes. So yes, pancakes are Roy's favorite. But this morning the sunrise was absolutely beautiful as you guys can see. I did a little bit of yoga this morning, got a little bit of like a body workout in, and I am ready for the day. It is gorgeous out here. We're gonna eat breakfast, and then we will begin our adventure. Super excited for a relaxing day. So normally I'll film like my big videos, which are like targeted videos. So it'll be like a catch, clean and cook or something, a species I'm targeting, whether it's tuna or an animal or a fish. And then I do videos like this, which are just kind of like travel vlog videos um, that I, you just, I don't really know what I'm gonna film. I'm just gonna film throughout my day. So I'm super excited what today is going to consist of. Check this out. This dog ain't happy behind us right now, but we just parked the truck. We're on our little trail, going to the waterfall. About how far of a hike is it, Raj? Um, I'll probably say like about 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah. Not too shabby. <laughs> we got the Crocs. These are sorrel. You know sorrel? What sorrel? is this? Yeah. yeah, this is a sorrel. Sorrel bush. What, is, what did it do? They use it to make juice and stuff in Jamaica in Christmas. Oh wow, how cool. Hmm. Interesting. What is this? We call this gungo. Gunga? Yeah, gungo beans. Gunga leaves. Beans. Beans? Beans. beans. Hmm. Interesting. This is like rural. There's a goat over there bang. Bang. Some bananas. Oh, there's a donkey. Or is that a horse? That's a donkey. That's a donkey. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a donkey right there. How cool is that? So the past couple years, I actually learned why people have donkeys on their farms and ranches. It's to literally stray away any predators like coyotes or bobcats or anything like that. Donkeys do not like things entering their territory. This is so cool. This is literally like farmland in Jamaica. So this is so funny. The other day I was just thinking about this little plant that has these leaves and if you touch them, they close. In elementary school, when I was sitting outside in recess, we had these everywhere and Raj just pointed them out to me. Ready? And they close. There's some over here. So cool. Wait, I don't know if that one. Oh, that's a big one, yeah. Just so wicked how that works. I'm give them a little shake. Right up. A little shake. Yeah. We got some more vegetables growing. These are yams. It's kind of cool. They just stick the stick in there and the vine just grows right up the stick, right up the bamboo. This is a plant in there. They already cut it. Oh yeah, I see. I just love all the, the plant life. I'm like, the older I become, the more of a plant guru I am. The amount of elevation that I have climbed in the past two months has been insane. If you guys watched my last two Columbia videos, we climbed up Guatape, which is a massive rock of like 800 feet in the, in the sky, and then up and down waterfalls. Whew. Putting us to work, Raj. Huh? 
putting us to work. Yep, wait until you see this. Check this out, guys. Go. All right. <laughs> Billy, you tired? No. Not yet? No. You gotta put your crooks in sports mode for this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm so tired. <laughs> go, go, go. <sighs> I didn't even have to work out this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Giving up already? I'm working. <laughs> Alright, turn right. Downhill. Woo. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the ground's wet. I can hear it. It's down there. We're getting closer to water. We're still walking. <laughs> still going. You think we're going 30 minutes yet? All them bricks, Billy. Try that. That might be the best bet. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh. We're good. Officially here at our little waterfall, tourist free, all to ourselves. Raj, this is the spot. Yeah, it's a nice spot. Yeah. Raj, you scared of the cold water?
We just swam around probably for like 15 minutes or so. Check out this prawn claw I just found. That is the bottom claw of a massive prawn. That thing was huge. What you got? We got some slow motion Kelly shots over here. <laughs> so cool. So it's really interesting because like every time I go diving, I wear a hood to my wetsuit because if I dive, I go spearfishing. Well, here I can do like playful pool underwater shots with my hair flowing all around and stuff. So I never get those shots because I'm always strapped down, ready to roll. <laughs> so that's really cool. <laughs> hey, can we get back? So super slow motion. Yeah. All right, look. Go. Here we go. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, look, look. Yeah, I like that. So sick. Good job, Raj. Raj, when he films, he loves doing very like beautiful cinematic nature like he's very in tune with that so he wanted to get the shot he even changed the settings on my gopro he's like i'm like oh, i'll just slow mo it on my laptop he's like no 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 you're only filming in 60 frames a second if you change it to slow mo it's like 240 frames so i'm like all right Whew. you taking it all in billy it is beautiful All right, so fast forward about 35 minutes. We are here on the coast. We're about to do some saltwater diving. Absolutely beautiful. Raj said that they just sank some ship offshore here, somewhere in that direction. And he said it's super cool. It's probably about 60, 50 foot. It's a brand new uh, ship sinking. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Check out the reef. This is Billy's first time ever snorkeling or diving in saltwater in Jamaica. So it'll be super cool for him to see just new structure, new life new reef um, and i'm excited to see the reef as well the reef is actually beautiful here in jamaica so we're getting geared up we got a biker coming dive gears here locking up the jeep and we're gonna get in the water guys we have some curry chicken and rice and peas we went ahead and went to this little beach here that all the fishermen dock their boats or I should say pull their boats up onto the beach 
I hear some goats over there. How's the chicken? Mm. It's good? great. So we were gonna go to KFC, however, that line was about two hours long. And the second time I was in Jamaica, me and my friend Lauren Sarasua, which some of you guys might know on YouTube, we waited in KFC, the line for an hour and a half in Montego Bay. It was some good chicken, don't get me wrong, but that line was long. So this time we weren't waiting in that line. Look at this. So we have fried chicken with some, the curry goat sauce, right? The sauce on yeah, top? Yeah, curry gravy. Curry gravy. The curry gravy. Yeah. Wait, where's my fork? Oh, look at, you got a piece of curry, um, chicken, um, goat. goat. Is that goat? Yeah. Yeah. Eat it. Is that me? Yeah. yeah. It's fatty. This is a little piece of curry goat that I got snuck into Billy's chicken over here. <laughs> That's good. It's tender. Uh -huh. It's kind of fatty. Oh, that was really good, not gonna lie. Let's see the label. That Jamaican beer. I think this is the perfect way to end our trip right now. If I can get my fork out of the napkin. Hold this as a flyway. Got you. <clears throat> so we were gonna set out this net back of Airbnb, however. Kind of feeling lazy, honestly, and I don't really feel like dealing with a gill net. And honestly, for the most part, we'd probably catch a bunch, of, a bunch of pan fish, just small fish anyway. So I think I'll just leave the fish on the reef. But huge shout out to Raj, Spearfishing Jamaica. <clears throat> Thank you for this awesome week. You're welcome. It's been a great time. Billy, did you enjoy Jamaica? I love it here. <laughs> I love it here. Billy didn't want to leave the river. I didn't. <laughs> Yeah, the which river? Which one? No, the waterfalls. The waterfalls today. The or waterfalls the that were in this video. Okay, if you had to pick one thing that you'd love to do, which what did you love to do the most on this trip? Probably spearing the big craze. Yeah, yeah. You know that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because you're a killer. <laughs> <laughs> a hunter. A hunter. Let me use a correct term. A hunter. Thank you. <laughs> making me out to be a bad person over here. <laughs> hey, my channel knows I kill stuff. So, mm. y'all check this out. I keep hearing goats in the background, but Jamaica is just such a beautiful place. Every single person I come into contact with has been the goats. Oh my gosh, the goats are up here. Every person in Jamaica that I have met or come in contact with has been just super nice. Like, there's literally no bad vibes whatsoever. We're gonna go sneak him on this goat right now. He's right there. This is pretty much like a boat yard, too. Um, look at these fish, these fish traps right here. Hi, goat. Let's see. It looks like you're kind of stuck. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh, you are stuck. Are you? Hi. Oh, you are so adorable. I just ate you too. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not eating curry, curry goat anymore. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this beach is absolutely beautiful. We are going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been an insane adventure this whole entire past week. Be sure to check out my last two Jamaican videos, mud crabs and prawns. And well, we're wrapping it up. Leave a positive comment, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.